Hello guys, welcome to the Tech Vistas YouTube channel. My name is Abubakar Zakari, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up environment variables for your Django project. So uh, I'm going to be using a project that I am using for another series, which is my Django CK editor series. So I'm going to be setting up environment variables on this project right here. So I already wrote an article about it. So all we just have to do is follow the steps in the article. So as you can see, uh, first thing we need to do is install the python.nev package. So we can just copy this right here and uh, go to our terminal. Ensure that your virtual environment is active. As you can see, mine is already active. And you paste it in and install it. It's going to take a second. Okay. Uh, I've already installed it before, but uh, as you can see, if you do yours, it's going to just take a few seconds and then to install. After you've done that, you know, so the next step is to go to your settings.py file and import OS and .nev. Let me just copy it here. Go to your settings.py for your project. This is mine right here. You just go and then you import. Okay, I've already imported OS, so I need to import it again. So you import the .nev. This is the package that we just installed. Next thing that you have to do is add in this uh, settings right here. So let me just copy it again. You can add it uh, anywhere after your import. So let me just put it here. Okay, what this does is that it's going to look for a .env file in our root directory and then use it to uh, like act as a source for all our environment variables. So the next thing that we have to do now is go to our root directory, which is right here, create a new file called .env. Use it right here. Okay, so it's going to be picking this file that we just created right here. Okay, so uh, let's attempt to use it. So as you can see, for example, this is our secret key. You know, um, during production, you don't want this secret key to be available. You have to hide it and dynamically add it with environment variables. So when I what, what am I saying? I mean, something like when you push your code to GitHub, for example, and it's not in private mode, maybe it's in public mode, you don't want anybody to just have access to this your secret key right here. So what you can do now, for example, is uh, create a new environment variable. This is how you create a new environment variable. You give it a key like this, and then you give it a value. So our value is going to be this right here. It's our secret key right here. Paste it in like this. After that is done, then instead of writing this now, you just uh remove this and then instead you put os dot environ then the key that you used to save the environment variable which in our case is secret key so you paste it in right here like this okay so uh let's be sure that everything is working correctly let me try and on my server again okay so as you can see this is the project you can see everything is working fine so if i uh another thing that you need to do very important is go to your git ignore and it's already is there already if uh, you're using a standard format standard template is there already so the .env file as so we've added it to git ignore it will not be pushed to github meaning that when your code is on github this file will not be there so uh, random users will not have access to it so any platform that you are hosting your project on you can just add in the environment variable by using this key and then using this value right here so that's all for now. I just wanted to show you guys how you can set up an environment variable for your Django project. So please ensure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.